Hey guys, it's Mac with Momentum Digital. Today I want to talk about Google Ads custom audiences and creating audiences in the new audience manager. This has changed a bit over the last year and it's really cool. Um, Google's doing a lot more uh, of understanding what people are doing online, how they're searching, what websites they're visiting, how they're using YouTube and it's gathering a lot more data on people. So I want to talk about how we can use this information, how we can set up these audiences and how we can make more money uh, using our Google Ads platform. So. First, we're going to log into Google Ads. Um, so you just go into your Google Ads, log, <clears throat> log in, and then you're going to pick your account. We'll jump over here. Once you're in your account, go up to Tools, and then in the shared library, you're going to go to Audience Manager. Once inside Audience Manager, this is where you can actually store your audiences now. So you can have all your remarketing audiences. Um, you know, email lists, website traffic, all this fun stuff. And you can see your audience insights, which has uh, got a lot more detail over the past few years, as well as audience sources. So you can see demographics, male and female, ages, uh, locations, you know, where people are clicking from, uh, what devices they're using, you know, mobile, desktop, all that fun stuff. And you can also see your audience sources over here on the left hand side. So you can see if people are coming from analytics, you know, Google Ads tag, uh, and understanding that in a bit more detail. So what we're going to do is you can go to customer list and you can actually create a customer list uploading an email list from here. Uh, or what you can do is um, I like to go into the audience manager just one more time here. Make sure we're in the right account. We'll just go to this account here. Go into your audience managers. And you can see custom audiences. This is actually where you create the custom audience and you can break it down between obviously remarketing or versus custom audiences. This is where you build an audience where you can target these people based on you know, what they're searching, how they're browsing, what they're watching online and it collects a lot of information about these users. So, a couple different options here. We have a custom affinity, so people with interests aligned to your brand, or custom intent, what they're actually doing online. If you go to custom affinity, you have a few options here. If you're like most businesses, you wanna use the interest or URL option. Um, so, for example, unless you're a local business, you could use a place, or you're an app, you can use app, you know, what apps people are engaging with. So. It, let's say business owner websites. So you can just pick the name, write a description, and then just pick different websites that you know small business owners might be on, for example. So you know you could use Score or SBA, and simply you know take that URL. You would just pop it in here, as I have done, and it starts collecting data. You know who who's going there? Who are these people? Where are they located? What are, what are their ages, genders, all that good stuff? Um, and then you want to narrow it down to the area that you want to target and the people who are in that area, as well as what languages they're speaking. And you can see via display or video. So I'm going to have this one say display. So that's like websites and other web traffic not video, so nothing to do with YouTube. And then once you narrow that down, you sort of get the criteria here. You get a billion to five billion weekly impressions. So it's a lot of people. Um, I don't know why people are you know, choosing cricket there, but that'd be one that we might want to remove. Then you also get the demographics. So you can save that. If you want to expand your audience, you can add more and get more broad with it. Oh, we actually want to do URL. There we go. Um, and we're going to save that. Oh, I might be in the way here. Another option is, let's go to custom affinity, interest base. So let's say business owner interests display. What business owners enjoy. So it's content specific. And you could do business, small business. You just type it in as if they're keywords. SBA, score, entrepreneur. Save all those. And then go over here to the right. 
United States. Make sure you're choosing English. Unless you want to target people who speak Spanish or another language. And then choose display. I think video tends to be a lot better than display. Uh, it gathers more data since it's uh, Google's property. So you'll see 500 to a billion. If we hit video, I bet it's smaller. Probably narrows it down based on the videos people are watching and how they're interacting. 50 to 100 million. I think that's much better. So we're going to call this one video. Create that. And I'd actually suggest doing that for all of them. I think display is a little too broad. Let's go back over here. Make sure we go to United States and English, especially if they're watching things in English. You know, we want to make sure we target them with our ads in English. Check this reach out. It's still pretty broad. I don't know why it is so broad. Maybe one of these is extremely broad itself. Business Insider might be. Let's try this again without that one. It's taking aggregate data, so it's like basically anything to do with business or these websites. Uh, let's make sure it's easy. Okay. Um, other options we have business loan, uh, or you could choose custom intent, what they're doing online. So you could use Google search terms and what you know people are searching, and then how they're going out on these other websites. Or in market keywords, so it's like you know products and services related around this audience and the things they might be searching. So we'll say, let's see if I've done one of that yet. In market keywords, you would put a bunch of different keywords in here. Add all those. Go to audience size. I need to narrow this down again. United States. English. Video. Reload. 100 to 500 million. I'll just type video right here. Save that. And then to actually use these audiences, what you would do is go back in your campaigns. And let's say we want to use a display campaign. You simply go to new campaign. Uh, let's say we just want to drive website traffic. You could do a display campaign. And um, you can pick out your targeting yourself or do a smart display campaign. We want to pick our targeting here. And so let's say we want to use this website, for example. Copy that, put it in here. And for your targeting, you would usually do that based on the ad group unless you want to split that out on, you know, by the campaign if you want to target different areas or budgets. So we're going to do um, keyword based content small businesses in the US, English, we're going to go for clicks, we're going to do automatically maximize clicks, let's do about 50 cents per click max, which might be a little high, budget, say $20 a day, additional settings, uh, you can add in some tracking here, frequency capping, all that good stuff, um, and then go down to the ad group, actually we would want this to be the ad group, so this would be Custom audiences display. Pick that there. And then go to ideas. Um, not the ideas one. Where did we just create that? Sorry. Um, let's go to not here. Here we go. Infinity. Oop, custom affinity. You can actually create it here as well. So let, actually, let's just go with the interests for the videos. So we'll go with custom affinity. Save that. And then you'd actually drill down a little bit further, like if you want to have a certain age group. Um, male or female. I usually don't like to go with unknown. And you can layer targeting on top of that. I usually go with no automatic targeting. That just spends your money more quickly. You can layer you know, different things on top of that. Like let's say um, you want to oh, I should have saved it here. Mm, should let that let's pull that in. 
But for now, you know, let's just say we pick some of these keywords, layer that on top of it, automated targeting, and you can create your ad later. So that's really how you create and use audiences, custom audiences, and fit any audiences. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And I'll see you next time.